Hey, Stephen Smith here, and I believe that I have a word from the Lord for you today. You know, we've been doing this for about a month or so, and it's really been quite popular. A lot of you have been sharing this on Facebook, going to our YouTube page, you're going to our web page, you're participating in the blogs. It's been fantastic to see the response of everybody getting in and getting to hear what it is that I believe that the Lord is telling each and every one of you. You know, we never started this as a thus saith the Lord type of thing. We started this as, this is what the Lord showed me in the Word of God, and I just want to share it with you. And if it touches you, well, then praise the Lord. Maybe it's a seed that God plants in your heart, and it springs into something really powerful in a week or two. But either way, it's scripturally based, and I wanted to share each and every one of these things with you. So in that vein, I wanted to share a couple of scriptures with you that actually support our position. The first one is Matthew 6, 11, where Jesus Christ is praying the Lord's Prayer. He says, give us this day our daily bread. Jesus Christ is asking the Father in a prophetic way to give us our daily bread. You know, we've been given the Word of God, and He is the, the bread that comes down from heaven. So in reality, that part of the prayer has actually been fulfilled. We do have the daily bread because God's Word is there for us. What we need now is for his spirit to lead us through the word so we can see, know, hear, and understand exactly what it is that God wants us to get from these scriptures. And hopefully I've been a catalyst to that, but there are several different ways that you can do this as well. But prime, the, most, the best one is actually following the Holy Spirit. So in Matthew 4, 4, this is how Jesus, uh, Jesus responded to Satan. He said, no, the scriptures say people do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. You know, God who spoke, the, who spoke the universe into existence, who spoke his word into the prophets' hands as they wrote these down, actually wrote these things down for us so that we could live by them. We don't need physical bread. What we need is the spiritual bread of the word of God. And with that, we can accomplish anything. It'll bring us whatever we need. It'll accomplish what we, what we need. And it'll go out and do exactly what the Lord wants it to do. My favorite verse in the whole Bible is actually Luke 1, in the Amplified. It says, For with God nothing is ever impossible, and no word from God shall be without power or impossible of fulfillment. That's powerful. So don't listen to Steve's words. Listen to God's words, because God's words will, will shape and transform you into the person that you were created to be. The, with God's word in you, it is impossible for you not to fulfill what he wants you to be able to do. So go out boldly, equipped with the word of God, and accomplish these things that the Lord has spoken into you. Let me give you, give you this word of encouragement. This is Isaiah 55, 11. You're probably familiar with it, but listen to what it says. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what, it, what I please, and it shall prosper in the things for which I sent it. God created his word for a very specific reason. And in fact, he planned it all out when he first created the world. And before he even created you, he thought about the words that you would need to be able to accomplish what it is that God has in store for you. So we take all this, we wrap it all together, we put it into a nice, neat package, and, we, and this is where I come up with these words from the Lord. I want you to notice that these are scriptural and these are not something that, that I got from gazing into a crystal ball or anything. This is what I believe the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me through the scriptures that I shared with you. And I think that it's important for all of us to hear this. So, so listen to what the word of the Lord says. Listen to the words that I have spoken to you throughout my word. They are life and they are victory to all who listen and believe. These are the words that will cause you to grow and to do. You shall surely, and as you do, you shall surely hear my voice. You know, it's a, been a real blessing to be able to share these things with you, and I know that whatever we do, however we do it together, through the powerful Word of God, we can be successful. So why don't you take this video and share it with others? You can go to YouTube. You can um, look at all of our previous messages there. I encourage you to go to our website, awfg.today, and you can actually see the blog po posts where I've got the narrative of each of these different videos available for you. Or you can even take a look at the videos from previous sessions. So I hope that, I hope that the word of the Lord has really spoken to you today, and I hope to hear from you soon. Well, God bless you, and I'll see you soon.